And now, Freelance Heroism. Hey everybody, welcome to Freelance Heroism. My name is Dees. And I'm Rachel. And before I even get started, we just want to say thank you to everyone out there who donates at the Patreon, in particular those who donate at the producer tier. Yes. Rachel. Uh-huh. Do that thing where you say their name. <laughs> So we want to say thank you to Duncan, Nate, Breakmeister, Rebecca, and Chris Stones. Thank you so much, everyone. You help us make a better show for everyone, mm -hmm. and uh, we couldn't do it without you, so we appreciate it. Yes. Rachel. Dees. I'm going to be on a plane in about 10 days, 8, 9 days. Oh. Yeah. And it's going to crash. I know it is. It's not going to crash. Gonna no, it's not going to crash. I'm going to Rocky Mountain High. I'm a John Denver, this motherfucker. It's going <laughs> to. I just want you guys to know that if it does crash and I call it before, you have to put this in the. Intro. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no taking the episode down later. Out of respect to Rogus's last uh, last intro, we've decided to edit this in a more form <laughs> a format more suitable to his memory. And it'll just be me <laughs> shouting butthole. Over and over again. <laughs> I think the thing that would most honor your memory would be you like making a, a I don't know about a statue. That seems weird. Big statue right in the middle of traffic. Uh, I think a, an, an audio recording of you being right about something that's going to happen in the future. I think that's the most uh, honor, honorable thing we can Perfect. do. Perfect. Let me tell you about some polling. No, <laughs> uh, no. I, I, look, mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily afraid of flying. I am afraid of being in groups of people. Uh huh. Uh, I don't particularly like the population. Like as a whole, mm -hmm. like as a as a theoretical experiment, people are interesting. Uh huh. Um, individually, not so much. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't want to have a conversation in line at the grocery store or at a burger. <laughs> I don't care. Nothing that you say to me is interesting. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Right? But, like, I care about humanity, mm -hmm. just not the humans. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. I feel like I'm coming off real weird here. So your your trip is to get away from people. You're gonna go no. somewhere and be totally by yourself for a no. A, I'm coming visiting you. Did you forget? <laughs> did you forget? Or are you playing it? Are you I playing did not a forget. Bit? I was I was doing a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. So so I'm gonna have to go to Savannah, mm -hmm. get on a plane in Savannah, which uh, you know Georgia based. Uh, aeronautics aside let's say i land that plane mm. right uh -huh. and it might be me doing it because i don't <laughs> trust are you gonna brush up on a flight simulator before you leave i'm a professional i got this <laughs> uh, you put it so it's flat right yeah right. <laughs> um <laughs> no but then i have like a six hour delay in dulles Ugh. which is in washington dc wow yeah so they're going to get me to Washington no matter what I do. I'm going to mm -hmm. have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Um. So like six hours, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to color a comic while I'm there. You could. First politician I see walk through that airport is getting a comic made about it. It's going to be just <laughs> the luck of the draw. Chuck Schumer. Oh, is that your week? <laughs> no, but then, but then after that, uh, mm -hmm. it's a relatively short flight. I should land around 7.30. Cool. So It'll bad. it will definitely gonna, be dark by that point. It gets dark very you, early here. It, well, good because your house right now looks like the inside of a light bulb. <laughs> it's, it's not it is, that bright. She has in the here. brightest house in the world. That is not true. <laughs> she lives in a lighthouse. Uh, no, it's like I've never seen uh, fluorescent furnishings like everything's so bright it looks like uh, i died and went to uh it is it's not that bright in here <laughs> it's pretty fucking bright i don't see shadows nothing has a shadow in your 
It's so bright they've quit. They you left. can see you can see shadows right there against the wall. Is that a shadow? Yes, that is a shadow. Yeah. I thought that was, you know, regular light conditions. <laughs> and then the hyper light around it. Hyper light. <laughs> hyper light. Um, but yeah. So then you got to pick me up in your micro machine in yes. your little Polly Pocket car. <laughs> um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's it. And then, the, and then the rest of it is history <laughs> for, the, for the people listening. So, I mean, okay. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is on a scale of one to 10, how do you think trip's going to go? I think the trip's going to be like a 7.5. Ooh, I thought you were going to be overly positive, but it looks like you, you've really got <laughs> thoughts on this. What do you think is going to be the negative? Um, whoever sits beside you oh oh i meant once i get there not oh like the actual no well but once also, you get fuck here you a little bit <laughs> whoever sits next to you is <laughs> oh, Who sits like next to you is gonna bring the average down oh my god me and nate were talking he's like how do you feel about sitting next to one of those uh opening doors like the so like if the plane crashes you're gonna open it i'm like well the fact that i'm on the flight I would like to be as close to that as possible. He's like, would you mind opening it for people? I'm like, no, I would not. You're going to have to open it anyway to get out. No, no. I'm talking about the, the what's it called? Hatch, the escape emergency hatch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like if something goes wrong and I'm on the flight, so mm -hmm. coin flip. Uh, boy, they should really let people know I'm going to be on this flight. <laughs> like the tickets for other people should be cheaper <laughs> because I'm on board. Well, I think. Uh, once you get here, uh, it's going to be like a 12. A 12 seems like like an overly inflated number. <laughs> you can't have a scale of 1 to 10 and pick 12. Because then you're just saying, this whole thing is a, is a sham. I'm just making it up. <laughs> 10 is a cap. You know what I mean? Like You have a glass that holds 8 ounces, and I'm like, how many ounces do you want? And you're like, 12 ounces. And I'm like, I'm going to have a wet floor. I think, all right, I'm going to say, uh, then like nine, 9.5. That's interesting that you went over and then not at 10. <laughs> I think like being realistic because a 10 means perfect, right? Right. And, and you're saying, and you're involved. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not a 10. I just like, cause I know you, you'll have to do a couple comics while you're up here. Right. And, um, you have to deal with like weird New England versions of food. Ugh, God, like everything's got <laughs> crab in it. <laughs> um, I have two cats, which I love very much, but they also drive me absolutely insane sometimes. So I'm sure that they will bother you on occasion. Yeah, I'll just flick them if they're annoying. I think animals have a pretty good idea of when they're annoying me. The only animal that doesn't really pay attention to that is my dog. I think it's just because he's inundated with it. <laughs> but I think children and animals generally, mm -hmm. when I'm around, are like, no, nah, not with that guy. Just stay away from <laughs> I have an unpleasant aura. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's good. Aren't well, you excited to see look, me? Looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. You will mask in my unpleasant aura. When I walk in the house, all the lights are going to dim 30%. Oh, no. <laughs> did it get cold in here? I'm like, yes, it did. <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, look. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a six-hour delay between the first fight and second fight. So on the way there, I doubt that the second flight will in any way be affected by delay on the first flight. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there you go. On the way home, it's a much tighter uh, window. So mm -hmm. I might never get back. Oh, no. I might just be stuck <laughs> in Dulles International Airport. Oh, no. Yep. Um, not... I have to start working as a staffer in someone's office. <laughs> I, um, when I first drove up to to Maine um because I I had I had a dog so I I didn't want to put her on a plane so I drove and we went through uh 
we went through DC on right. like a Friday night at like Ooh. 5 30 or 6. Yeah. The traffic was so bad. We were there for hours. You guys were stuck on that belt on yeah. the beltway, right? Oof. Yeah, we were stuck for hours there, just like waiting to get through the traffic. It was like the worst possible <laughs> <laughs> time yeah. to go through there. It gets really bad around nine to eleven too. Mm -hmm. Um it, it's like ugh, I don't I don't um think anybody up there should want to drive but mm -hmm. i'm aware it's not as uh new yorky as oh i don't own a car so i can still get around it's a little different but yeah oof. i hear uh housing up there is nuts too tell me about maine what do i need to worry <laughs> about other than the fact that you guys eat fiddleheads which are literal <laughs> poison well it's no longer fiddlehead season so oh, you don't good. you don't have to worry about that I didn't have to worry about it before, but continue. Unless people have like canned it, which they they will do. They'll they'll can fiddleheads so they can eat them year year round. Year round. And get that latent poisoning <laughs> all year round. That poison. That sickly green skin <laughs> tone. Um, it is getting cold here. Although yeah. you seem very excited for that because you live in like a gross, humid place. Yeah, you know, like in those old movies where the guy gets put in the hole in prison and uh -huh. it's like hot. It's like yeah. a box out in the sun. Yeah, that's what it feels like all the time. Ugh. Yeah, Gross. it was. It's been cold this week, so it's been great. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm just, it, it's almost like it's coaching me. It's like, <laughs> hey, remember what this feels like? I'm like, yeah, I do. It's nice. Um, the like sense of humor for Mainers is very dry. So there's a lot of instances where they will say something and it's like if you're being serious about it i'm sorry this is very tragic but this could also be like extremely deadpan humor and i don't know whether or not i should offer sympathy or laugh right now uh and Example? that happens that happens a lot. <laughs> um when i moved into my new place the kitchen is painted this really ugly robin's egg blue and right. the lady that was showing me around, her mother had lived, had been the one who painted it. And she motioned to, like, the paint. And she was like, I know the kitchen's very ugly. My mom was already suffering from the Alzheimer's when she painted it. <laughs> and I don't, oh. I don't know if that's, if that was, like, a joke or if it. <laughs> if it's you know? not a joke, it's harsh as shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. <laughs> I, I'd like to lean into that being a joke. I don't know. Do you think that, like, if I told a joke the way I normally act, uh -huh. do you think that people would laugh at it? I think so. Oh, God. I think so. It's not great. <laughs> I'm, I'll am i be all right. I think I'll be able to adapt. Yeah. Okay. Um, You know how, like, because before I moved to Maine, I lived in Texas, and people in Texas are obnoxiously proud of the state they live in, and, you know, they, like, yeah, I'm aware. Texas shaped things. It's just like that in Maine. People are like they will unironically wear sweatshirts to just say Maine on it. And what? it's like they've lived here their entire it's not like oh Is it because they're delirious and they don't know where they live. <laughs> and they'll have like like just the the shape of the state up on their wall and like it's it's they're very proud of like living in if Maine. I if I were to shit on Maine in front of a group of people, uh -huh. how would they react? Um, I guess it, I guess it depends on like, if you're, cause I will joke about Maine a lot with, with, uh, some of my friends here. Right. Um, and they, they seem to take the jokes well. So oh, okay. I would like, if I walked into a restaurant, I'm like it smells like fucking oysters in the state, <laughs> like everything. It is. There's also this thing. This is like so so niche. Uh, talking about <laughs> Maine. Um, hey hey, look, stay tuned for other state jokes. <laughs> but Doing Vermont next so, week. Sometimes I joke about how uh, it feels like Maine is still kind of stuck in like the Great Depression era um, because they're the really bread in, in a can. They, yeah, they love bread in a can, which is a I thing that they the sell that is. in grocery stores here. Um, in they, the, have, they, they, they have they, regular bread, right? Not just yes. like oh, okay. they go to the woods to collect fiddleheads to eat. Um, they also like if you 
there are like certain rivers so like when the tide gets low people will go out to the mud flats to collect the the like oysters there or something the, the mud flats yeah what the fuck is a like when the like when the tide kind of pulls the the water back so you've got like a big flat like muddy a... wet oh. area they'll go out there and like dig around for oysters and stuff <laughs> to eat <laughs> huh. It just feels so like um there's uh like I'll go to McDonald's or something and they'll have like a sign that's like make your checks out too and I'm like who still uses checks in this day? <laughs> <laughs> like it's stuff like that. It just it feels very out of sync with time with the rest of the country. Oh, I don't know. We have places well, here that are pretty pretty out of time. That's true. Uh, well, so, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to not see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ex- very excited to hang out with you. Oh, I think I think oh. we're gonna have a good time. I think so too. Yeah. All right. Well, we should. That's get supposing to... that the plane doesn't crash. The plane's not very well. I'm gonna, if I'm on it. It's not gonna Look, crash, man. If that's how I have to go, that's we how are... I have to go. <laughs> this might be like the beginning of a movie about me. <laughs> Like where the plane crashes, but it like goes off course, and mm-hmm. I'm like on an island somewhere. On an island? Yeah. <laughs> it really went off course if you're on an island. Yeah, and the only thing there is to eat is fiddleheads. Oh and no! Things that, <laughs> things that are in the mud <laughs> and canned bread that just survived. Yep, that plane had a shipment of canned bread. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, why don't we go ahead and go to this week's episode? Right. Uh, this is our last uh, Candle Keepers <gasps> episode at this time. Um, this is Candle Keepers Chapter Nine, uh, and that means next week, which is Halloween, uh, uh. we will have the first episode of our new campaign, which is Return to Ravenloft. <gasps> Return to Ravenloft. Mm-hmm. Same great taste, less <laughs> filling. <laughs> All right, to the episode. Woo! That plane might crash that with me in it. It's not going to crash. It could. (laughs) Oh, my God. You don't know. Uh, My luck is pretty bad. So you're saying that there is precedent? Yes. So that if I jam (laughs) enough bugs in there. Yeah, it it has to be enough bugs. Okay. Okay. Yonk, I would stay up. (laughs) (laughs) Because historically speaking, from our gameplay sessions, (laughs) I don't go mouth first. Right. You know? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yep. All right. That was the (laughs) mean lock. Shifu, um, we'll say you're pretty, you're faster than Montero. So you would have enough movement to get to this room. And then also, um, we'll say, up to where Yonk is if you if you want. I want to get close enough to where the light will hit one of them. Uh you have a torch, right? Right. Okay. So um we'll say you have to get within 15 feet of one. So there is one sort of at the entrance with Montero. Right. Is that the one you want? Sure. Okay. And then I will uh boomerang at it. All right. And I'm going to use the same series of actions that I did before. Okay. All right. So boomerang to hit. I am going to use my inspiration. Okay. Boomerang to hit. Hey. All right. 18. That will hit. Uh, I am going to then roll the damage from the boomerang. uh, And then add Kensei. Two damage. Two damage total. It, bro. All right. I have it for whatever reason. It's, it, the negative on my decks is being applied. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm not supposed <laughs> to to get that to armor class, but apparently it calculates it in for my uh, throne, which makes sense because it is a ranged weapon. But mm-hmm. this is just a kind of like a tap it weapon. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna be all right. Trust me. All right. Uh, Shifu. All right. Mean lock. It will. Mm. 
I'm trying to get I'm trying to get some attention you. here. I'm gonna hit each one of them with this boomerang until someone pays attention. Well, this one is gonna go up to Yonk, and we're gonna roll to see if it's in the bunny light. It is, so it's gonna attack with disadvantage. Yay! See, I, George likes me the best. Uh, seven to hit. Um nope. All right. Uh and then this one will teleport. Uh, oh, it can't teleport to you. So it, what's the speed? Okay. Well, it'll just go over to, <laughs> to you guys. And it'll attack Shifu. Shifu, you have a torch. So it attacks with disadvantage. Good luck hitting me. I have a 23 armor class right now. They don't know that. It got a 13. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> All right. Uh top of the round uh let's see here this one that is originally attacked yonk we're gonna see if it's in the light it is not so it attacks regular 21 to hit yonk yes all right uh that is gonna be 10 slashing damage so five and i need a constitution saving throw Oh, poison. Oh, but um, that was a critical fail. I believe I will use my inspiration. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> God. That's a nine. You are paralyzed. Oh. But hey. I'm, it's my turn, right? It's your turn. So... <sighs> So let me try that one more final time. All right. Oh, that was you. It's a 14. It's not going to be enough, is it? That'll make it. Oh, okay. Whew. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm not paralyzed anymore, right? No. Uh, um, can't. No, oh, end okay. of your turn is when you make that save. Oh, end of my turn. Oh, that is it then. Yeah. Yep. Damn it. All right. Uh, Munch. Rachel, yes. Sorry. I have to ask. Uh, can you make an unarmed strike with a torch in your hand if you just like use your knuckles to punch like you were holding something? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Montero, first I'm going to need a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. That is a 15. <laughs> All right, you make it. He didn't say anything. I saw the dice come up. I was like, is he asleep? Rolled. I was like, nope, he's awake. Okay. Um, so you're not frightened. It is your turn. There are two mean locks here. Am I still paralyzed? Uh, that's a good question. Um, target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. So, end of your turn, you can make that saving throw. All right. All right. So, I guess I'm making it at the end of my turn since I'm paralyzed. Yep. Yep. All right. And which one is that con? Constitution. Yes. Come on. Damn oh it. shit! Yeah, no shit! What is going on? Is this app broken? <laughs> oh no! It, I told you I, I blew through all my good rolls. You are uh, with that eight. You are still paralyzed. Oh no! And I'm Here, down to this bug. thirteen health. <laughs> Yay! Eat this curative insect. Uh, let's see here. Meanlock's turn. He is already in the light. Um. But you are paralyzed, so that washes out. Uh, he's going to miss you somehow. Uh, Shifu, your turn. Uh, first, I need a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. I am not afraid. Hey! It's hey. a good number. All right, you are not afraid. I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid of no... So. <laughs> There are two with you and Montero. One of them has been lightly tapped with your boomerang, and the other yeah. is uninjured. Did he uh, draw his attention towards me, though? He moved in my direction, right? Yes. One of them did? Uh-huh. That was the one that I tapped, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, where are the other ones? Uh, the other... Tank them up. There's one that is um, also there, but it was trying to attack Montero. Uh, and then Yonk has two on him. Okay. How far away is uh, Yonk from me? Uh, let's say Yonk is like 10, 15 feet away. Could I keep the one on the light and still get in range? 
Um, if you get closer to Yonk, you're going to... Uh, is it 15 foot radius from side to side or 15 in every direction it's going to be like 15 in every direction okay so then i could attack this guy and then back away if you get out of his um range he'll get an attack of opportunity on you he's never going to hit me <laughs> you're okay. so yeah, confident <laughs> see my ac and then see what happens when someone actually does roll good this could be uh -huh. a 20 this could be a 20 you know it won't because i'm gonna lucky it <laughs> that's what i'm saying do you see what i'm saying uh <laughs> all right so i am going to uh with uh kensei boomerang mm -hmm. uh up close i'm not even gonna throw it but we'll treat it like it's thrown okay um i'm just gonna kind of slash at him all right with the boomerang in my hand and then unarm strike with the torch hand mm -hmm. so let's do the hit all right, that's not a hit. Uh, unarmed strike will attack. Okay. Oh shit, twenty-three, son. That will <laughs> so, hit. Uh, six damage from the unarmed strike. Okay, and this is the one that you have already hurt before. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then uh, once that happens, I'm going to just start walking slowly towards Yonk. He's gonna. He has he's, disadvantage. He's in the light. He's gonna away. try. You know what? There's okay. a chance. I had a Kensei weapon and an unarmed all right. strike, well, so 23. Okay. Well, all right. He did not get a nat. He needed nat 20s on both of those since he was at disadvantage. He did not get that. It's unreasonable to think that I was so confident. It's a chance. Had to roll a nat 20 twice. <laughs> it was a and chance. I still have to roll it a third time because I was going to lucky that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> those numbers are on the 20s, die. Rachel. Those numbers are on the die. They could happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then this <clears throat> mean luck would be a legend among his people. <laughs> He's still no crit frog, but, but I think uh. like... <laughs> all right. So all right, so now we'll say that all the mean locks are now in light. So they're not all at disadvantage. Um, was that it for you, Shifu? Uh yeah. Okay. Uh so mean lock on Yonk is going to attack with disadvantage. Uh does a 16 hit you, Yonk? It does not. Okay. Second one. This is the one on Montero. That does not hit. All right. So we're at the top of the round. You guys have been in this room for two rounds at this point with a bunny, uh, a glowing bunny sort of running around and like it with the bunny sort of like bringing light to all corners of this room. It has given you guys like a better sense. Um, and so I'd like for all of you to give me perception checks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> mm. 23. Now I roll an 18. Yeah. Motherfucker. You can see what you can't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 12. Okay. Uh, so if you got an 18 or higher, mm -hmm. um, you notice that like on each of these pillars in the room, um, sort of slightly buried under moss but like tied to each of these pillars is this sort of like candlestick shaped item um and then each one has like this long string coming off of it and then all four strings sort of converge to like some little contraption kind of set in the middle of the room okay wait a minute candlestick you see, like you're telling me there's, there's a bunch I'm not of candle saying, wicks. I'm not saying it's a candlestick. I'm saying it's like kind of the size and shape of a candlestick. With a string? Yeah, and they all have string coming off of them. So like dynamite. Oh, that could be. Yeah, I am so firebolting this shit. <laughs> no, we're in the <laughs> <laughs> This is probably like, uh, like somebody's plan to detonate and try to close this place off. <sighs> Could be. No, I'm pretty sure that's. I'll doing. sacrifice myself. <laughs> it is destiny. It seems Run. weird to blow up your supports while you're still mining. You know. All right. Uh, mean lock that is on Yonk attacking with disadvantage. Yonk does a 15 hit you. Nope. All right, Nate's, Yonk. Nate's message to beast. The make of. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So Yonk, I need a. Wisdom save for fear, and I need a constitution saving throw for paralyzed. 
<laughs> you guys are getting your asses <laughs> fucking whomped. All right. So so a wisdom saving throw first, right? Yeah. For the okay. fear. For the fear. A natural 20. Hey. All right. And now, so, wait, wait. Wouldn't you have to roll the paralyze first? You can't paralyze really happens roll. at the end of your turn. Right. Right. Well, how can Would, you roll the other one if you can't? Well, you can still way? see. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to explain. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get for your comment. Eyeballs. Uh, okay. So now I have to make a constitution saving throw because yes. it's now the end of my turn. Correct. That's a 21. All right. You are no longer paralyzed. Until the next time. <laughs> Montero. Right, he'll be back. <laughs> uh, first, I need a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> so Wait, now the... Is that a two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. And, and now the con so save. Low. And now the con save. Jesus. Oh my god, are you fucking serious with me? <laughs> What'd you get? A five? A five? A two and a five. Did you hear the way her voice went up? She was so excited by that. A right? five? Oh, she's her. finally going to get to kill me. God, it was like a, like when Harry met Sally <laughs> moment. It was like, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> All right. Um, how, how many hit points do you guys have? Are you, this you I got thir- begin- yeah. I'm at 13 left. Uh, I got 34. You guys are <clears throat> okay. I'm a sorcerer. Fuck you both. Uh, let's see here. The... Mean lock that is on Shifu is going to attack him with disadvantage. He does not make it. Does he does he roll his three twenties on a row, Rachel? <laughs> not yet. He's saving yet. it. He's no, saving yes. it. Okay. All right. Shifu, it is your turn. First, roll a wisdom saving throw to not be terrified of this mean lock who has no fear and is so confident in his ability. 21, Rachel. All right. Well, you're not you're not scared of. <laughs> Also, these are small creatures, and you're just like a giant turtle. Yeah, not like, just a giant turtle. I'm a giant feet. turtle with their worst enemy in light. <laughs> and you've been eating bugs. Turn. You've been eating bugs all game. I'm going to eat some more of them after <laughs> He's this. He's down at your feet with like his little claws. He's like, I'm going to get you. <sighs> all right, Shifu, it is your turn. All right, we're going to do the same <laughs> series of actions. Okay. Uh, boomerang <laughs> attempt. All I'm right. gonna make this. I'm gonna make this a thing, guys. Um, all right, boomerang first. Uh-huh. Oh my god, nineteen. What's up? <laughs> Battle hit right to, the, right to the dick meat. <laughs> uh, I want to target one that's not, um, that's not in combat with me. Okay. Do you want so one on Montero or two on Yonk? Uh, Yonk's got. He looks healthier. Oh, thanks. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to draw the one off the emo kid. Okay. Uh, here comes the boomerang damage. Uh, and I get to roll the d4. So that's two. Three damage. Okay. Total. And then the unarmed strike. This is going to be substantially better. Uh, to hit. No way. Uh, no, no. I'm going to reroll that one. I don't like that. So I'm going to use one of my lucky charges. Oh, okay. So your unarmed strike will have to be the one that's already at you. Uh, I'll punch one of the ones that's on Yonk or what? Right. I thought you were no, sort no. of between Yonk and on Montero to like no, get no. the light I on both of them. Punch the one on on him, hit him, and then backed away. Remember, because he got his attack. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So twenty to hit on the on the rerolled. Okay, on one of the ones on Yonk. Yes. Okay. Are you attacking the one that's already been injured or the one that hasn't been injured? Which one looks like, well, the one who's injured seems like, he, yeah, that might be more imperative. I'll, I'll hit that one, the one that's already injured. Okay. All right. Uh, bludgeoning. Oh, wait. Shit. Sorry, I clicked off. All right. So that's six damage to him. Okay. Um, and I want you to know that I had a Kinsei weapon in my hand, so good luck rolling 320s. It's gonna try. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, oh, Shifu. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one will attack Yonk with disadvantage. Yonk does a 20 hit you. 
All right. Get ready to be paralyzed again. <laughs> Damn it so fucking much. So five slashing damage, uh, but adjusted, you take two slashing damage, and I need a constitution saving throw. Do it. 18. Do it. You make it. Hey. Is it my turn? Uh, not yet. God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The uh, one that was on Montero, he is going to... Um, does he wanna, is he smart enough to disengage? He is. So he will disengage and go over to Shifu. And then it is the mean lock on Yonk that has already been injured. Will attack Yonk with disadvantage. Does a 17 hit you, Yonk? Fuck! This is a tie. He's got to make it. You know what? Rachel acts like, does it hit you? <laughs> but like, she's smiling so fucking hard. This so shit is like her, her ten, teeth, you can see them back to her ears. Yep. 10 slashing damage, but adjusted, that'll be five. <sighs> and I need a constitution saving throw. And then it'll be your turn. Yeah. Damage adjusted for inflation. Take 20. Yes, 24. Uh, you are not paralyzed. Eat my balls, you fucking mean luck. <laughs> um, all right, all my right, turn, right? Trying. Does Yonk does Yonk say that? I don't think that was in no. his vocabulary. Well, he's raging. Uh, so this is technically <laughs> round nine. So I've got this round and next round, and then my rage will be he over. learned it from the bunny. Uh, yes, George was a horrible, horrible uh, um, influence on me for the six minutes that I've had him. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Am I in a position where I can get more than one of these things in a line? Uh, yeah, you can get two. I get two in a line. Is it better to do that? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm uh, so I want to get into a position where I can. So I assume the one that's on me, right? Do I still have, do I still have two on me or just one? You have two on you, but we'll say that um, you could get uh, one that's on you, and then one of the ones on Shifu for okay. the line. So I'll do that. Uh, I'm going to do a. I will. Um, I'm going to use my breath weapon. <clears throat> so um, the sound of rumbling bile begins to grow in my throat and then I spew forth a stream of acid as it is a copper breath weapon. So they need to make dexterity saving throws with okay. a DC of 13. Uh, let's see here. First the one on you. He got a 12. Yes. And the one on Shifu got a 6. <laughs> oh, good. 2d6 right. damage. <laughs> oh, sucks no. to be you, nerd. Oh, oh my the God. dice gods hate us. <laughs> dice gods fucking hate us. <laughs> Damn. Is that how we and then he got so sick? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. For those of you listening, Snake to eyes. Home, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. His eyebrows did it. No, I know it. Fuck. Uh, I, I did it. I broke these. I'm so happy. <sighs> All right, okay <laughs> um so i'm still within frenzy for two more rounds so mm -hmm. i'm also going to go ahead and take a swipe at the one that's in front of me uh, okay. whichever one is more damaged okay uh it's a 12 that's gonna miss that's a miss uh, fuck. Oh, okay god that was uh, so fucking great <laughs> <laughs> He was so happy. He's like, "Fuck you, eat my balls." <laughs> 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 oh. oh God! All right. All right. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Next Mont I'm paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Montero, uh, first, give me a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. Oh goody! Oh, that, yeah, seven. You are frightened. Yep. Are you still paralyzed? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, give me a constitution saving throw. I'm using my inspiration to roll that again. <laughs> okay. Fuck! <laughs> oh. uh, wait, hold on. Is combat it? no, it's, ever D- been. it's D is DC eleven. Oh, yep. oh, I made it on the first one. So you made it. Oh, oh okay. Fuck, I made it on the first one. Okay, cool. All so right. I'm not realizing it's turned out. You're no. the wrong inspiration to attempt a failure. <laughs> oh god. All right. Uh the mean lock that is on Shifu is going to attack with disadvantage. <sighs> One of them is a 20, so hey, he's getting how about closer. That second one? He's getting there. He's getting there. Okay. Uh, Shifu, it is your turn. Roll me a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. Okay. Uh, 17. Do you make it? And what would you like to do? Oh, uh, uh, okay. So they're all still up, yeah? Yes, they're all still up. You have two on you. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there are two on Yonk. But both of them are off Montero, yeah? Correct. Yonk can handle the ones on him, I think. Uh, I'm going to try to draw one off to me. I'm going to uh, shout to him. I don't know. What do bugs get offended by? <laughs> uh your mother has a big <laughs> Wait, God sure. damn it. <clears throat> your mother has a big thorax i'm just gonna i guess say hey you and i'm gonna kind of say it in his direction and then throw the boomerang at one of the ones on young okay uh are you going for the one that is injured oh. or the yeah let's do the one that's injured okay actually you know what with Yonk's performance, <laughs> how about the other one? Let's try the other one. All right, this one has not been injured. All right, uh, okay. I got a twenty on the boomerang. That'll hit. hit. Me to right. say he didn't bust a gut from laughing from my double <laughs> ones. I can't believe that. All right, so there's the first damage. Can say weapon. That was two plus plus four, six damage. All right, boomerang. nice. Um. I'll unarmed strike one of them that's on me. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen will hit. No way. All right. Are you hitting the one that's more injured or less injured? If the one's on me, the one that's more injured. Okay. Uh, four damage total. All yeah. right. Um, and then I'm going to to try to make a noise like uh. uh try to draw their attention okay like kind of like <laughs> like try to do something to get their attention on me all right uh let's see here the one this one that's on yonk he will uh disengage and go after shifu so right. yonk you have one on you now um let's see here yeah. mean lock that's on shifu will attack with disadvantage he didn't make it this time that's a bummer not this time but you know what anything's possible that's true the bugs (laughs) are trying to eat me back i get it uh the mean lock that is on yonk will attack yonk does a 12 hit you no all right yonk (laughs) sure give me me a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened oh my god 11 you are not frightened. Okay. Uh, you are not currently paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed. Okay. That's amazing. Both things at once. <laughs> I know. Uh, you have one mean lock. On. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is my last turn at rage. So let's make it count. Um, all right. Great X. <sighs> That's a 10 to hit. That'll miss. And so the last frenzy will do that again as well. That is all right. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you are you rolling the correct dice? Hi. You don't have like a die eight in there, dude. Hi. This is this is Nate. This is Nathan Lutt for freelance heroism uh, with a message for Wizards of the Coast. Uh, your virtual dice roller can suck my fucking ass. 
If you want to switch Silver to, Moon. to physical <laughs> dice, that's fine. No, it's f- I, I I appreciate the fact that this I just I cannot believe that <laughs> from a statistical standpoint we're this far on the wrong side of the bell curve. Right you guys, now. you guys were rolling oh. so well when it was to determine oh. like which way the floor sloped. I know oh, we're yeah. so good at that. <clears throat> All the important Skill checks we were shit. killing it, but yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing to do, so okay. I guess. Uh, Montero. <sighs> not paralyzed. You are not paralyzed. But uh, I need check for fear, don't I? No, there's none that are close enough to you to fear you. <laughs> Bitches. All right. <laughs> this this shit's on fire to now. All right. Um, where's the asshole that hit me? Uh, he is currently on Shifu. I'm mind spiking that funder. Fucker, we're taking mind silver and we're going fucking up a level. That is a wisdom 15 save. Uh, all and right. Mind spike in his ass. He got a 10. Oh, that is 3d8 psychic. That motherfucker's getting hit. And even better. Um,. On a failed save, you also know the target's location until the spell ends. While the two of you are on the same plane of existence, you have knowledge of the target and he cannot become <laughs> hidden to you, even if it's invisible. Matera's like, I got your number. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just going to hurt. All right. 15. 15 damage. He is hanging on. And I am wow. popping a um <laughs> I, I'm popping a sorcery point and okay. I'm casting mind spike as a fucking bonus action. All right. <laughs> um not on him though, I'm going on somebody else, which who else is who looks who looks like the strongest of the of um boys? that would be one of the other ones on Shifu. All right. Um target one of those motherfuckers. Okay. Wisdom 15. Oh my god! I like how he's spreading out his damage, so he's he's gonna draw the hate of everyone at the same time. He got an eighteen. Oh, that little cocksucker! He takes half damage. <laughs> okay. Uh. Like how the confidence now that you guys aren't paralyzed and frightened, confidence is going up. Seven right. damage. Those ice rolls are going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta compensate. All right, seven damage. Anything else? I'm good. Okay. Uh, the mean lock that you mind spiked is, let's see, he's in the light. He wouldn't even know where that came from. He has some intelligence. Um, And also Montero's finally moving around now. Yeah, he's going to, so he's going to go back to Montero. He will right. incur an attack of opportunity against yes. Yoshifu. Yep. Uh, can I punch him? Uh, with my torch hand? Just, yeah. It's just a single attack. Yep. So this is going to be the claw attack. Oh my god. What did you get? That one. I dropped my claws. Oh no. All right, he makes it over to Montero. Damn it. He's going to attack. Oh, no, and he's back in the fear thing. One right? of them's in that 20. Uh, the other is a 15. The 15 hits. 15 hits. All right, he's back. <laughs> Damn it, I just got them off. <laughs> that is seven slashing damage, and I need a constitution saving throw. All right. That is a 13. You make it. And how much damage? Uh, seven. Yikes. All right. All right. Uh, Shifu, I need a wisdom saving throw so you're not frightened. Okay. Hold on. Don't tell me if I make it or not. Okay. I'm trying to remember if anyone else made it with the roll. Around there. Uh, this is the fear, right? Yeah. So I got a 14. I'm going to keep the 14 because I think Nate got it with 11. You pass. Okay. I'm trying to remember if that was the case. I seem less afraid. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's still on me, right? You have two on you. Um, the third one that was on you w- went back to Montero. And then there is one on Yonk. All right. I'm still holding 
the uh, the boomerang. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to use the claws though on my punch with the the torch hand. Okay. Uh, on one of the ones that's right up next to me. All right. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-three to hit. That that will hit. Um, and then I'm gonna attack with the damage. Let's see what we got. Hey, seven. Seven damage. All right. Arm strike on. Is he down? The that was your punch. Yeah. He is not down. He looked pretty hurt. Yeah, he looks pretty hurt. What about the other one? The other one was. The they were or... they were pretty uh pretty evenly uh damaged so i okay. just i just picked one i'll attack the same first one then okay the one that i just hit all right no fucking way dude really i'm gonna have to reroll that i think that's a one yep all right we'll use my second tick of lucky okay Oh my god, Nate, you're fucking me up. <laughs> you you juice me with your shit rolls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. All right. Anything else, Shifu? Yeah, <laughs> All right. Uh the mean lock that is on Shifu is gonna attack him with disadvantage. This could be two twenties. Uh it is not two twenties. Also, you're going to need a third one. <laughs> you, you know what? You got to get the first two before you get the third. That's true. Uh, let's see here. This mean lock is also in Shifu. You also attack with disadvantage. This could be 220s. It could be. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Mean lock that is on Yonk. It's going to attack with disadvantage. Yonk does a 14 hit you. No, it does not. All right. Yonk, it is your turn. First, give me a wisdom saving throw to not be afraid. Mm-hmm. 20. You're not afraid. All right. You're not afraid. You're <laughs> not afraid. Okay, so uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to re enter rage. To okay. take a stand. Take so, a yeah. stand. Um, so that's my bonus action. And then when I go into that, I go back into a frenzy attack. So that will also take next turn as well. Okay. Uh, so this time, so I still, so I just have one on me now, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to hack into him. Okay. With a natural 20. There he goes. He's back. Nice. <clears throat> damage four. <You> did it. <laughs> What's the damage? 13. It's not, not, I mean, I roll an eight on one, but a one on the other D12. So it was like, look, man, we're working, we're trending upwards. Okay. That's enough to kill it. Yes. You cut its buggy little head off and it falls to the ground. That's what you get for trying to touch my rabbit. Uh, So that was your, so you bonus action raged and then you action to attack. So you still have a move. Um, hmm. There are two mean locks on Shifu, who's yep. nearby, and then there is one on Montero. Um, I know Mr. Montero has been getting the crap knocked out of him, so I think I'm going to move to be adjacent to the one next that's uh, on Mr. Montero. Okay, so you could get to where you and Montero are flanking it, so then you would get advantage a, on yep. your attack. I think that's a good idea. I like that. Okay. Nate seems agitated by his rules. And it's very funny to me. I'm sorry. I know. Look, I know. I know you're feeling it because we've all been there. Yeah. Yeah. All uh, right. Uh, Montero, give me a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. I am frightened. I got six hit points left. <laughs> oh my god! I rolled a one. God, what are these dice was... rolls? Damn! Oh my god! All right, well, I'm frightened. Okay. Uh, I think what I think we failed to realize is uh, Rachel not... paid for the extra the <laughs> extra <laughs> monthly <laughs> fee so that we would get the shit rolls. Oh, that's called the go fuck yourself package. <laughs> All right, you are not paralyzed. He's getting mind slivered. Okay. DC 15. DC 15. 
He got a 10. Nice. And then that means a D6. Five. That is enough to kill him. The little buggy head goes and just explodes. I totally Halo teabag his ass. In uh. <laughs> fear. All right. Um, so that was your action. So you As a bonus little- action, I'm going to drink the only potion I have. Okay. That's Spider blood potion. 2d4 plus 4. That is 5 plus 4 is 9. All right. Uh, Are you moving or are you staying put? I think I'm just going to chill out. Okay. Shifu, it is your turn. Give me a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. Oh, wait. Uh Uh-oh. All right, last lucky. Last lucky. Oh. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, 14. You are not frightened. So you've got two on you. One is more injured than the other. He's getting punched. Okay. All right. Thirteen hit. Thirteen does not hit. Okie doke. Anything uh, else? I have an unarmed strike I could do on him, but it's my last one. I need it to get the bonus, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm an unarmed strike him. Okay. Come on, man. God fucking damn it, Nate. <laughs> Go stand over there. As soon as you approached my guys, I started getting you into your zone of bullshit. Why is it my fault? I'm sorry, I forgot. I, well, I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have cast a zone of bullshit. My apologies. <laughs> as soon as soon look, as soon as he stood up and moved in my direction, now I'm in his cone. <sighs> oh, okay. Geez. Well, all right. Anything else? Right. No, I think that's about it. Okay. <laughs> they can't uh, kill me, but I we're just gonna yeah. be here eternally. Can we can we two twenties? You never know. You never actually. You not. only need to hit a twenty-one this time. Okay. Oh no, no, no! You still need a twenty. This, yeah, yeah. You need a twenty-three this time. Next time, it's only twenty-one. Next one. He got a four and a two. That's not gonna work. Uh, Yonk, it is your turn. You are far oh. enough away that you do not have to roll against their fear aura. Nice. Uh, so I guess I'm going to uh, move up and uh, I'm going to hit whichever one looks the worst uh, okay. on Shifu. All right. Uh, whichever uh, one you go to, you can flank. Yes, so, I will I do that. So I will right. get advantage. Uh, okay, Are you going so for the one that looks more injured? Yes. Okay. All right. So first attack with advantage. Uh, well, that's a 24. Let's see if I can do better. Nope. All right. So that's a hit. Mm-hmm take god fuck seven points of damage i guess that's not too bad what does that do to that one he is still alive all right so then i'll with i'm in with frenzy i will go ahead and make my bonus attack also at advantage okay the first roll is a 15 will that hit that will hit okay i'm gonna see if i can do better nope can't do better than that all right so we'll do it again roll better okay that's not too bad that's 11 points of damage you kill him Nice. All right. So we're down to one. Yep. I, I have done all the things. Uh, all right. Montero, it is your turn. All righty. And we got one left. Got one left. It is on Shifu. So it is, you are too far away to be in the fear aura. Magic missile. <laughs> all right. One, two, and three. So that. Uh, two, three, five. Ten damage. All right. He is still up. Anything else? I flip him off. Okay. Rachel, yes. I have some bad news for you. What is it? Okay, I've been using flurry of blows uh-huh. uh, instead of unarmed strike. They're the same metric, same number, same everything. So just I've been saying unarmed strike, but flurry of blows is what I've been doing. Uh huh. Um. I just wanted to clarify that because what's going to happen next turn is I'm going to use unarmed strike anyway. 
Okay. Uh, it doesn't use a key point, it's just a bonus action. So. Okay. Okay. Well, it is your turn, but first I need a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. <sighs> can can we can I delay my turn until Nate gets the fuck away from me? <laughs> I don't uh, think he's gonna get away from you until the <laughs> last one's dead. Twenty. All right, you're uh, not frightened. Nice. Oh. Okay. Unarmed strike. Uh-huh. Um, with the boomerang still in my left hand. Okay. Right? I just want to clarify that Kensei weapon is still drawn. Okay. <laughs> Two. It's a seven. That will not hit. I know that, Rachel. Thank okay. you for telling right. me. Good. I'm glad I could help. That will not hit. <laughs> I'm just trying yeah, to help. Okay, go. Yeah, okay. okay, go. Do your thing. All right. It is this mean luck's turn. Hold on. Okay. Um, where is that? Okay, he is going to attack with disadvantage. 17. On who? On uh, Shifu. To hit? No. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm sorry, Rachel. You did not hit. I wanted to clarify. It could happen. Say it could like happen. Did. Rachel. Uh huh. You, you did not hit. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe next time. No uh, damage. Pro- probably <laughs> not, Rachel. Yonk. I like to talk about birdhouses now. <laughs> Yonk, it is your turn. I assume you're going to move to where you and Shifu can flank yep. this mean lock. Okay. Yep. All right. So here comes. Uh, that is a 22. Can I do better? Nope. Hey. That's a. That is not a 22. All right. Uh, hey, there we go. 13 points of damage. Still up. All right. He so here the, he put the jinx on me, and now he's jinx free <laughs> out here, rolling around doing damage. <clears throat> no, okay, that's an eight. I got to do better than that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> God, I rolled a two, and well, I can't do worse than that, and then I did. <laughs> All right, so my bonus attack doesn't do squat. Uh, maybe I'll start hitting now. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Yeah, All we're right. just, just going to shuffle it back and forth. Or maybe Montero will sweep in with the kill steal. Hey. Mind sliver. All right. Uh, this is a uh, int save. Uh, yes. Um, it is fifteen intelligence. Seventeen. That bitch. I am using another <laughs> sorcery point. Mind sliver again. Twelve. Suck it. <laughs> For one damage. One damage? <laughs> He's still up. Unreal. <laughs> How do you Jeez. even roll one damage? <laughs> I don't fucking know. But now he ha- now he has a uh, he ha- um he has a minus four on any save he does against you guys. Excellent. Okay. They're gonna need it because this guy's about to assume his final form. Mm-hmm. Shifu, give me a wisdom saving throw to not be frightened. I feel like at this point, the wisdom saving throw is just an annoyance. Rachel. <laughs> yes. Are you scared? It's a 10. Oh, my God. Fail. You're scared of this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make a big scene out of it. Why don't you? <laughs> you have disadvantage attacking him. I have disadvantage attacking him? Yeah. You have disadvantage on your attack rolls. All right. Well, with the Kensei boomerang in the left hand, I'm going to punch him with the unarmed strike. Okay. I'll roll it twice. You Well, you are flanking with Nate, so oh, that awesome. washes out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 24. That will hit. I'll allow it. There we go. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> uh, six damage. He's dead. Thank goodness. <laughs> you are defeated. <sighs> now, as Young says, suck on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know you were a sportsman. 
I don't know. When I get really angry, I say all kinds of things. Oh, wait, where's, where's George? Find the glowy rabbit. <laughs> See a bright where's... beam of light behind one of the, the oh. uh, stone slabs. I, I'll go over and retrieve George. Okay. Is he okay? Uh, Are he's all the like... monsters dead? I thought there yeah. was still a more. Oh, okay. They're just, you killed the evil bucks. <laughs> wow. Well, well, you 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 did kind of help, George. I mean, I I know you let us in here, but maybe be a little bit more careful next time, okay? When you gotta go, you gotta go, and I didn't want to shit in front of you. <laughs> How noble! <laughs> How noble a rabbit! Uh, is is everybody okay, Mister Patera? You feeling... don't look so good. I don't feel so good. Almost that destiny came. Oh. I, sorry, like a to, rhino. This... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wow, that, that may go on record as the longest callback stretch we've ever had. It was like three hours ago. And I just want to clarify <sighs> that we are in a mine and we haven't made a joke about a shaft yet. We did. I did. Oh, There's been one. The, okay, uh, never mind. Uh, when you said, "Hey, we're going to the we're going to the mine," I didn't begin. I was like, "Okay, we'll go down the shaft." Yeah. Okay, I didn't hear it. Sorry. We got it covered. It's okay. We checked that box. All right. I had to make sure. You know, we have that checklist. Why do you think Rachel came down on me so hard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay, right now, uh, this room appears to be sort of the like central den of uh, the the mean locks. So uh-huh. you're saying this is where we should hit Firebolt? And run. <laughs> well, they have a fuse. Yes. How long is the fuse? Um, you go over. There is like a a, a fairly long uh, length of fuse. It's just that it um, it seemed like whoever started to set this up, maybe like either something happened to them, they got caught. Um, it's also possible that someone, like clearly someone who had knowledge of how to use dynamite and set up like a, a blasting site um so perhaps it even could have been like one of the the miners like but they ended up getting captured and transformed before they could finish like yeah. destroying this area so we should finish the job for them i think we should complete the task That should bring these souls closure. So, or at least the mountain. <laughs> as long as something closes. Well, are, are, are we going to be safe if we do that? We have to leave and then light it. Oh, okay. Perhaps All right. we could start a small fire and then leave the fuse nearby. And that would give us time to leave before the fire spread to the fuse. Or is there a way to jump directly out of like a hole in the wall out of, well, no, we're underground. Aren't we? Yeah, you're underground. And there's only, um, you guys would know from kind of looking around, uh, there's only one like way to get into the like mean lock area. Um, any part of the tunnel that has like the, the smooth stone with the moss, that is like mean lock. And there's only like one entrance that goes to the rest of the mine. Okay. Well, then we need to we need to detonate this. What do you guys think? Well, if it'll if it'll stop all the bugs, then yeah. Well, how, I mean, more the how long is the fuse? Oh. Um, it's on like a a link, like it's on a spool, um, and it looks like it just got dropped or set down. So let's start walking more... with it out. Yeah, but I'm worried there might be more behind us in any of those offshoots of the tunnel. Well, you just put out the torches and walk very quietly with me. <laughs> I'm putting out those torches. George, George is still glowing. <laughs> George could lead us out. George, George, George led us here, right? It would be safe to assume that any, um, if any others were close enough, to have heard combat, then they would have probably joined or um, even attacked you guys while you were kind of looking around and talking. Um, are you 
checking out anything in this chamber before you start to like lead the um the fuse out to get it all set up yeah we should look around okay i'll do an investigate okay <laughs> i don't find shit <laughs> i'm just gonna pet george I'm, i i i gotta i guess I'll, yeah i guess i'll look i i i've, I've saw the like the the tables i'll go over and look at the tables okay oh geez never mind <laughs> it's pretty table tables. Uh, no i didn't see the tables <laughs> i banged my leg into one okay uh what did you get shifu 13 okay that's um you find sort of in like one of the corners um there's sort of like a pile of just like remains and refuse um there's no like uh real bodies but there are um like like bits of clothing boots rusted blades um and you kind of poke through that a little bit and you find a um like some loose gold you find 50 gold um you find an ivory drinking horn with platinum filigree worth 120 gold and you find a set of goggles that weirdly like look clean and like there hasn't been any kind of rust or um like they haven't been tarnished even though they've been sitting in this refuse pile for who knows how long okay uh i'm going to pick those up the gold uh the goblet and the uh the goggles okay uh, we will i'm head head my way back and i'm gonna hand them to uh well young has got his hands full i'll hand it to uh montero okay i found these on the dead they will not be using them unfortunately but perhaps someone may that is true they also did not have any snacks i am very tired and would like to rest well, technically, the bugs are snacks. I mean, you why don't you just start chewing on one of those? There's reason to believe the bugs may have once been people. I don't. And <laughs> protein's protein. All right, that is not true, Joe Rogan. And you shut your fucking mouth. I <laughs> slide the stuff in the bag. Okay, I'm um, Joe Rogan. And I go deer hunting with only a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so terrible for his wife. So, uh, you guys lead out enough fuse that once you once you light it, um, you'll have plenty of time to kind of get out of the the cave. Okay. Your message is good. All right. Sounds good. All right. Um, so you guys light the fuse. There's like several seconds of silence as it travels into the cave and then from deep within you hear an explosion and the ground underneath your feet kind of shakes a little bit oh. um, and there's very briefly this like weird moment of you feel like pressure like the air pressure in the cave changes like very suddenly and very sharply and you feel like like the air section. yes um and then everything seems normal i'm going to do one last sweep for bugs i was kind of a letdown i was hoping the mountain collapse <laughs> that was loud are your ears okay george oh wait yeah <laughs> like <I had> to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah your voice changed for a second george are you becoming a are you becoming a big boy buddy now? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Actually, because... I'm a girl bunny. Oh yeah, you piece of shit. Oh huh? I'm I'm sorry. Okay, I'll call you Georgina. George is fine. <laughs> just just call her George Sand. It's been a pen name the whole time. <sighs> All right. Um but with that, you guys are confident that you have solved the uh the mean lock problem here um if you'll recall 
you guys originally sent here because someone um his like family owned a stake in the mine and he wanted to see about sort of getting it running again um and had promised a, a percentage of the um the profits once the mine is back up and running oh shit you mean to tell me that we left and there was still a stake in that mine i am so hungry i'm going back in for the <laughs> stake <sighs> well we'll we'll go back to that other that the 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 end that we stopped at we'll get some more of that fish soup that you liked that bowl was delicious. <laughs> did we ever get that thing out of the tree? Uh, I believe Yonk did. The necklace. Yeah, the, the necklace. Yeah, I've got it. Right. And we should make our way out. Yep. I have a case of books I need to dispose of. We should also make sure to warn people about mining here again in the future. The greed might get them, but if they know that their life will be at, at risk, they won't. Oh. Or at least don't dig so deep. No, what the hell are you talking? Don't dig so deep. That's the most capitalist shit I've ever heard. Don't go back there. <laughs> what if we were to, I don't know, frack the area instead? Like, no, leave it alone. But I mean, it's supposed to benefit the library if they do. I mean, what if no. we use drones? <laughs> All right, point taken. All right. Uh, anything specific you guys are going to do before you? return to the library yes i want to go back to where the flower people are and tell them um i was certain that those motherfuckers were ghosts or something <laughs> they were so fucking old and i i shouldn't have said that but because i'm old, way older than them yeah but i just thought it was funny um that because they're humans and the humans are when they get old they die right well um Nate has a turn of that necklace, right? Yeah. Um, I'll I'll return the necklace. Okay. And if possible, I would like to have a a collar and leash fashioned for George so that he can what are walk you alongside when he stops me. Glowing? What do you mean when he stops why would he stop glowing? <laughs> because he committed the cardinal sin of murder. <laughs> well, he didn't kill anybody. We did. In self defense. I cast Allison. light on the bunny again. Painted him. <laughs> See, he's glowing. See, um, <laughs> you guys were were also asked to leave flowers on the grave of Lucas's wife. So I'll assume you do that before you return to oh. the town of Marin. <laughs> I like got flowers in my mouth. Like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Bring me flowers. <laughs> They're not gonna know. They're not coming back here. <sighs> um, but you find Lucas uh, at his usual spot at the tombstone this? where he is old enough to be at the board weasel, the tavern that he runs. Um, <laughs> he seems favorite establishment. <laughs> he's surprised. a boring weasel. Get it? He's boring board, all the way. Okay. Board, board weasel was my nickname in college. <laughs> Uh, he seems surprised to see you guys, but he is, um, you know, he gets bowls of the, the fish surprise mm -hmm. stew for you. Salty fish surprise. Is Salty is. Right. Yonk, Yonk is going to go on ad nauseum about everything that happened in the way that a <laughs> four-year-old child would recount a mundane activity with all of the details, getting most of it wrong. Mm -hmm. So they um, said that it was a deductible if it was used for business? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm going to show everyone in, uh, in the board weasel my glowing talking rabbit. God, that's a sentence and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show everyone in the board weasel my glowing <laughs> rabbit. It's like, what does that mean? Part of me just knows that's filthy, but I can't tell you how. Yeah. <laughs> and every time it stops glowing, I glow it again. Okay. <laughs> um, well, Lucas is is so happy to know that you guys have brought flowers to his wife's grave and you brought the the necklace back. Um, you know, he he comps your your meals and your stay at the end, so that way you don't have to to pay for anything like that. Um let me lick your bookshelves clean of bugs. 
he I'm kidding. I'm is kidding. very confused by that request. <laughs> that also sounds nasty, but I can't <laughs> tell you how. <laughs> right. Oh, glad I'm not the only one sitting there like, damn. But he'll say, thank you. Um, you know, it's good to to know that that all of those people that died in uh in town so long ago will finally be put to rest oh, do you help. have another bowl <laughs> i finished this one and the soup is now on the table I, do you just want an empty bowl no he wants a full bowl i want the soup too it, it, oh. it adds something to it. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a very delicious sauce. All right, all right. I'll get you another bowl. Add some saucers. <laughs> to dip for dip for the whole table. <laughs> for the table. So, um, Yonk, you're able to find uh, at the the local like leather worker. Um, you know, it's like it's the the leash and collar are meant for a dog, but sure they are able to kind of adjust it. They get like a harness for like a small dog. Mm-hmm. They kind of adjust it a little bit. And by the morning you've got great. You've got that for your bunny. That's um, awesome. And they will even, uh, how are you? So are you going to ride with the bunny on your lap while you're on your horse? I assume I have a little saddlebag or something that okay. he can just sit in and uh, he can he can ride side saddle. Okay. Get him a second saddle for the back of the <laughs> head. Yeah. So he can like act oh, like, a, like a lantern and a bunny. You should get a miniature horse. Ooh, I'll, for your I'm gonna, bunny to ride on. I'm gonna Uh-oh. check to see if we've got a, a a horse small enough when we get back to to the mm-hmm. library. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Uh, but after a couple of days, you guys do make it back to uh, Candlekeep. And uh, it is actually there. Um, you guys are sort of returning your horses to the, the stables. Um, and someone sends out word that you have returned. And um, actually, the uh, keeper will come and meet you there and she will say uh you know i'm so i'm so glad to see you're all back uh actually montero the collection development meeting is tomorrow so you've just made it in time um however we have uh, a bit of an issue happening with the um uh, the the rooms where everyone normally stays um there was sort of a magical mishap so we've got everyone staying um in different rooms at the house of rest and she'll gesture to this sort of big uh the house of rest is like candle keeps in for usually it's for adventurers or researchers and that's where they stay when they're doing research at the library Um, but you can see it's actually quite packed with like your fellow librarians who are staying there um and she'll say, because you all came back so late, uh, actually, the only rooms are going to be in the Firefly cellar, but, <gasps> you know, that's fine. <laughs> um, oh. Hopefully, you know, in a day or two, we'll have, uh, you'll have everything cleared out. Uh, Detective Graves, it s- says something about like demons or something, but should be fine. He says that about a lot of things. Um, so, What's your problem, kid? You don't believe in demons? <laughs> oh, uh, goody. <laughs> why don't the three of you get settled in the uh, the Firefly cellar and in the in the morning, um, you know, we have the, the collection development meeting and um, you can all give me your, your reports about what happened. I got a glowing rabbit. <laughs> 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 and he talks. He's going to be my pet. I'm going to keep him in my section. You're going to have I'm... to get a good enclosure because we don't want him to chew up the books. Oh, no, that no, lady's no. real mean. I'm not going to chew up shit. Shh, 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 shh. That's OK. Don't, we don't <laughs> we don't talk about that in front of her. OK, it's OK. It's OK. He, he's going to be a good rabbit. I promise he's not going to eat a single book. I promise. OK, good. I'm going to eat her books. 
No, you're not going to eat any bugs, George. You're not going to do that. Okay. I am snoring standing up. I am completely. <laughs> completely. All right. I, um, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that George doesn't eat books the way that Mr. Seafood over here eats bugs. And then I just walk off. <laughs> Did I, did I just leave me there? Yep. <laughs> I am fully asleep, snoring loudly. She upright. will, she will like nudge you awake, and she'll be like, "I think it would be more comfortable if you went to the Firefly Cellar to to rest." Oh no, I am fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'll go right. get a library card and tip him onto the cart and begin to push him okay. into the cellar. All right. <laughs> Um, so with that, we will go ahead and close out our, uh, this episode of Candle Keepers. Mm-hmm. Um, so the next time we play, if you guys want to, uh, it will be an adventure within the Firefly Cellar. Ooh, it's about, uh, about Master Chefs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All our food glows. Oh, uh, and a bunch of big damn like, heroes. <laughs> this is where they keep all the glowing food. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Freelance Heroism Plays Candle Keep Adventures. Um, if you would like to support us, we are on Patreon. You can find the link in our show notes uh, patreon.com forward slash freelance underscore heroism. You can find journals, audio outtakes, other stuff like that there. Um, Also in the show notes, you can see our Twitter. You can see the link where Nate and Deese stream. uh, The link to Deese's comics. All very good stuff. And uh, if you like listening to us, maybe give us a uh, five stars or whatever on however you're listening solid thank you <laughs> maybe give us a five star whatever whatever you listen to yeah huh? how are you, how are you listening? give us some stars on the ear holes yeah <laughs> why don't you tell us who's playing the cast includes david walker as d'angelo montero nathan let as yonk and yours truly as master shifu Anzen, the quick i don't get a thing I DM and, this whole oh, game. No, you weren't part of the characters, and I don't have you on my <laughs> notes here, so I didn't read you. And our young and talented DM, Rachel Moore. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Candle Keepers with us. And uh, the late find is in the mail. Edit that out. I sneeze so hard. <laughs> I think my eyes hit my glasses. <laughs> I saw, I saw the mute icon come up on. on the I was like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, he really did not agree with my. Oh like, no, no, my was, twelve prediction. It was a, it was a hardcore sneeze that came out like shotguns from each nostril. <laughs> um, no, okay, so. I'm charming, right? <laughs> <laughs>